Welcome back, beautiful Brigandine fans, to another helpful guide for you for Brigandine, the Legend of Renarzia. So today we are going to talk about dun 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 hats! Yay! The hats that go on the head. Um, it's funny that Monica doesn't have a picture with a hat on, but she does get it in her gear here. So let's go ahead and cover this. So we're going to go ahead and cover hats today. So let's put on the uh, the hat. Let's put on the magic hat. But before I go ahead and uh, cover that, I just want to say real fast, definitely like the video and subscribe or subscribe and help the channel grow. That would really help me out a lot. And it would help me get out more bringing content as well. But we're going to cover here real quick before we get into that for all the new players. What does all this mean? Why is there a gold lettering for Zypher hat? Three stars for that. Why is there a purple for tactical noble hat? Two stars. And why is there guard hat and white with one star? Well, that just basically means the tier and the rarity. Really, that's all there is. If it's gold, it will always have three stars. If it's purple, it will always have two. And white lettering will always have one star. Okay. So, now that I covered that, let's put the hat on. Let's put a magic hat on her. And what did it do? It gave her two defense. And you can look to the right side of the screen to actually see that go up and down. And it'll show you in red or in green. Red means it's going down. Green means going up. We got 12 MP, two defense, magic hat, quite a solid piece of gear. Very basic, very simple, but it can be helpful if you find one. Please do equip it to your mage when you get that. Okay. All right. So let's look at the anti-magic hat. So a little bit, a little bit different, right? All right. So we lost some MP. We gained some defense, obviously, and we gained magic resistance. So this is going to help you against other spells. So this is going to make you a little more resistant to the spells and take a little bit less damage. Okay. So that's pretty solid too. Uh, depends on if you're a mage fighting another mage, but just in general sense, I would probably pick the magic hat over the anti-magic hat. But then again, it comes down to the fact that getting some defense means that if you get splash attacked by physical attacks, I guess you are a little more defense defensible against it. So I guess the anti-magic hat does have its properties there. Okay, let's put on the wisdom hat. Boom. All right, so we got six hit points. It's pretty good. And intelligence. And if you're new to the game, Brigandine, having a mage, what you want the most, maybe more than MP, but it depends. It's your choice, really, is intelligence. Because intelligence will depend upon the strength of the heal that you give or the strength of the damage that you inflict with the spell that you use. That's where intelligence comes into play. Uh, it, it also uh, comes down to the fact that you can resist magic damage from another damage magic damage healer a little bit more because intelligence is going to work like defense in that sense as well so wisdom hat quite solid hit points and intelligence I'll give you a little bit of both there okay the command hat now the command hat sometimes you have to look at these pieces of gear and sometimes you got to look at them minus five intelligence now, for a magic caster, not all these hats go to magic casters, but for a magic caster, it's not going to be the greatest. But it does give you a magic pool plus, which is your monster uh, group that you send into the, um, into the field. So if you need a little bit of an upgrade for something, you can put this hat on. It lets your monster upgrade if it only takes 15 magic. Uh, pool to upgrade you could get a, a slightly better monster that's what you could do with this okay but I would be cautious to put this on because you will lower intelligence by five and you will see it and you'll feel it in battle okay all right the guard hat okay so hit points plus 10 and defense plus three quite a solid piece right here this is really like it's going to do what it says, going to guard you and uh, pretty much guard you from physical attacks for the most part. Hit points and defense, this is all just physical stuff. It has nothing to do with any magical properties of defense or offense or anything. 
It's just like adding like a steel helmet, you know, on top of a mage to make them a little more tanky, just in case they're they're hitting you too hard with physical attacks. This is a good one for that. Okay, so we covered all the white gear. Let's move on to the second tier here, on the purple gear, and do the assassin's robe. Now you can see on the right, defense goes down because it's not as tanky as that guard hat that we have equipped, and hit points go down. But what does it do? Okay, so it still gives us hit points, but not as much as the other piece did. But it gives us accuracy, and it gives us evasion. Now the accuracy is, uh... It's, it, uh, it's a little questionable for some mages and stuff. Yeah, sometimes you're attacking the enemy with a mage, but it's very, very rare because their attack is so very minuscule, so very... not very good. Uh, you want to really use them for their magic for the most part, but it does give you evasion. So, Assassin's Hood could work on some characters, but I would say it's probably a little bit less for the mage class. Okay, let's move on to the next piece of gear here. Uh, let's go on to the Crimson Noble Hat. Cool. So what did this one do? Crimson, red, obviously. Gave us a red dot defense. And mobility of one. Quite good. I like it. So if you're up against a bunch of dragons, you know the enemy has a lot of dragons, or it's Eliza's team, or whatever. This could help you move into a better position and have a red dot to be able to defend against uh, dragon fire attacks and that sort of thing. That's really all it'll do. So, that's really about it. So let's check out the next stuff here. Okay, noble... white noble hat. Alright, this is a little bit different, but white, white dot, MP of 5, intelligence of 4, that's good for a mage, and magic resist of 5%. So this will make you a little bit better at handling a stronger mage's attack. So let's say you're up against a stronger mage like Mua, or you're up against a couple mages. This will help you in a fight like that, because you get a little more uh, MP. Not very much, it's just 5. But you also get a white dot too, so in case you're up against a bunch of mages that have like paladins and tanks, this could be a perfect defensive piece of gear for you. Okay. Alright, let's um, check out the next one here. The Green Noble Hat. What do you think that could be? It's got to be green, right? Yeah, it's definitely green. Green defense orb. So that's good for centaurs. Centaur defense. Mandrake defense. Defense of 6 and attack of 4. And evasion of 4%. Now, I don't know, but... It does have good defense. But this could be a hat for something... Or for, for a knight. For a human knight that wants to be a little more offensive okay I would just probably say that okay let's look at the last one tactical noble hat so this one is defense of five and a magic pool of 20 as you saw when we looked at it earlier the other piece lowered your intelligence but gave you magic pool this one does not lower your intelligence and it gives you a magic pool so this was a quite good piece of gear in case you needed to get that extra upgrade or maybe an extra little monster of sorts. Could help you with it, you know, help you out with that. But it doesn't have any orbs, so don't expect anything with that. But um, pretty decent for like if you want a little more monsters and you want a little more defense. That's about it. That's all this will really do. But there you go. All right, let's check out the Cypher hat here. Now look on the right, you see the mo uh, the mo mobility going up plus six, up to six. This will give you an extra mobility. This one's a really good piece of gear. I use this one. I This is one of the best, I honestly believe this is one of the best piece of gear there is out there. And I'll tell you why. And we'll cover the other pieces of gear and then you can, you can tell me down below if you think I'm right or wrong. But the extra mobility, right? Got two green defense, so be careful of red dots attacking you. Um, it does give you evasion plus 10%, which is great. 10% extra. And also inflicts double movement. 
So if you're unfamiliar with this, what this essentially is saying is that you, you don't go twice, but you get to complete all the movements that you have. So if you're standing in one place, you have six mobility, you can cast a spell, like a thunder spell, like Monica's Trabadour, you can cast thunder spell, Juno Thunder, whatever, you can move six spaces away to another space. You can reposition after you blast them with magic. I can't tell you how good that is in a game like this. You you can cast your magic and reposition into a better position so you can do a better amount of damage in a new place. This is one of the best pieces of gold gear you could get in a game because it gives you the double movement. And I'd have to say, CP-wise, I would count this as the best one. Personally, for me, I would. But um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. Let's move on to the other pieces of gear here. We've got uh, the Twilight Hat. So you see we lose the mobility. So we got... Magic Pool. So we got Magic Pool. We got Black Defense. We got Defense. We got... What I just said, the Magic Pool. <laughs> Innovation of 5. So there you go. So you're going to get a extra monster upgrade out of that which is pretty good and solid defense so that's pretty good and if you're going up against like tim or some you know big black purple dotted uh nasty you know creature out there uh you'll probably be able to handle the handle its attack a little bit better because of the two purple orbs we got here okay all right let's go clear that up nope not, oops wow the, um, either the controllers are getting smaller or I'm getting more clumsy. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we looked at that. The red lotus hat. What does this do? <clears throat> Alright, so we get the red dots here. Right? Uh, for defense. And we get defense and intelligence. Quite solid. Quite a solid piece of gear. Intelligence and defense and evasion. And a red dot defense. Red Lotus hat is either the second or the third best, as far as I'm concerned here, okay? But let's check out the last one, alright? Celestial hat. Supposed to be the best piece of gear here, right? What does it have? 15 HP, 4 defense, 10 intelligence. White dots for defense inflicts silence immunity, so you're immune to being silenced. Now, this can be good in a lot of situations, actually. So that's not bad. Intelligence, defense, hit points. The only thing I would like a little more for this would probably be MP. But, you know, you can see how many, how little hit points we already have as a Trabadour. So it's quite solid, honestly. It's quite solid. Pretty good. <clears throat> But if I were to look at this, honestly, I know the CP is going down and all that, but I would just say that once you get good at the game, like pretty good at the game, you'll probably be loving the Cypher hat probably the most. So that really just kind of finishes it for this guide here. I hope that uh, you enjoyed and all that. Definitely either like the video or subscribe, help the channel grow one way or another. That would be awesome. But um, we'll do a little bonus here because I think we have some time. Let me look at the time. Yeah, we definitely have some time. So let's do a little bonus here and let's showcase what all the all-star uh, sets look like. So if you're unfamiliar with the game, all these three different um, tiers here are you know different tiers of how good these uh, hats are going to be. But if you put all this set together, all this, all these pieces of equipment together with one solid color, you'll get an all-star bonus. So let's start off with the all-star bonus of white gear. Okay. And you'll get to see that, okay? So let's do something simple. Boom, look at that. Now pause the video and look at all the stats and then unpause it when you want to. And you see all the green stats go up, and you see this all-star bonus just 
Just go right there, just like that. And usually it goes, most of the stats go up by five for the first first tier of white, and then the purple goes up by seven, and the last one goes up by 10. Around about that, around about that number. All right, so let's check out the purple gear here. Crimson Robe is what's going to give me a little more movement, so yeah, that's why the mobility went up, and my preferred terrain is going to change because I'm putting flippers on, but you can see how this is going up from here to here. Let's put the flippers on. Boom. You always hear that little, that little chime, meaning that you did a good job putting on all the same, same uh, colors there. Okay, so that is a two-star bonus. That's what it looks like for my stats for the type of gear I have equipped. All right, let's check out the gold one here. All right, and uh, Celestial Loot is the only gold weapon you can get for Trabadours in the game. It's interesting. Now look at this. Attack from 85. Up to 100. Boom. Alright. So that is the all-star bonus that you can get in a game. And that's kind of what it looks like. Different pieces of gear will either give you more mobility. Like the Zypher hat. Um, and so sometimes you see the mobility going up. It's not because of an all-star bonus. It's just because of one piece of gear. So just, uh, just remember that. But, alright, that'll finish the video. Definitely smash a like and all that sort of stuff. Help this channel grow. And uh, I will see you in the next guide video. I think we're going to go ahead and um, let's see what we're going to cover here. Let's go, and, um, let's go and talk about that. Unless I see you in an LP. Maybe I'll see you in an LP. But we covered all the hats, the helms, and the uh, gauntlets. For the humans, I think next up we're going to cover the rings. So I have all the rings here. So we'll go ahead and cover all that in the next video. So anyways, thanks for coming by. Thanks for sticking it out. And I'll see you later. Take care.